I'm excited to be on here today because today we're going to be using the new Iron Orchid Design transfers or one little piece of it and I'm also including another piece of another transfer. And if you have any questions at all about anything that I'm doing, about anything that I'm not doing that you want to know questions about DIY paint, don't hesitate to ask and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, so this is what we're doing. I have this little box and I'll put it this way. It had a piece of art decoupaged on here, like a little cottage. Um, it was really old, it's vintage, it has all these carvings, and it has a little a mirror inside, and it smells yummy because this is the box for me. I keep all of my essential oils in here um, so that I can put it in the diffuser or put it in my candle, my wax melts and stuff. and. It's a little wonky, but that's okay, and I could fix it. It's just the this leg right here. But what we're gonna do is we're going to use DIY Paint's Little Black Dress. We're gonna use Golden Rule. We're gonna use White Wax. And if you haven't seen the new Iron Orchid Design transfers, I love these for smalls. I love this for junk journaling. They're perfect for junk journaling, and it's a small pad, eight by 12. And some, a couple of them are larger, and that, but most of them are really small. So from here back, oops, they're small. And you could do little labels on jars or on glasses. Like you paint one of these cans, you could put a jar, and you could put your pencils in there. I took a little piece of this brocante transfer, and I just took this the text and so I was thinking that I was gonna put it right here so let's get started so what I want to do first is I'm gonna use DIY paints uh, little black dress DIY paint is highly pigmented and our blacks are very very thick so a little bit goes a long way and you can usually get one coat coverage I'm using the s30 to apply a nice even coat and I'm serious a little bit goes a long way Look at this, I'm gonna spray this and not get any more paint, but just spread the paint from what I have on the back to cover everything. I love it. <laughs> now DIY paint always dries a little bit lighter, and once you seal it, it comes back to life and just becomes a little bit more vibrant. Here, I'm taking DIY paint's liquid patina to seal in my black velvet. It goes on white, but then it dries clear. This is a great decoupage medium. It's a transfer gel. You can use it also as a glaze. Now, I used my heat gun, so I created some texture because I got a little bit too close because it does have a sealer and it bubbled up a little bit, but that's okay. I'm taking my little piece of vintage ephemeral and I'm gonna cut out some of the text to apply that um, in, a, in a different spot but I'm going to take my flowers and I'm going to find exactly where I want them. And once I know where I want to position it, then I would remove the backing. But I don't remove the backing until I'm sure I know where exactly where I want it. You always want to seal your chalk style painted piece before you apply a transfer it just ensures that it's going to last and it's going to stick i like to use a two-hand method i take one hand and i lift up as i rub down with the other i purposely had placed my transfer on the side because i wanted to go around the curves and around the edges and the sides and it's super easy to do that with these transfers just take it slow i have several tutorials where i've shown how i've done it in creases and in different levels and it's just so much fun and if you do get a little bit of cracking you could always fill it in with paint or just let it go because it's vintage right <laughs> And see, it just goes around the curves nice and easy. If you just take it slowly, it looks perfect. Once you apply your transfer, you want to burnish it down. You can use the same backing that the transfer came with, or you can use a lint-free cloth. 
you just want to pass it along and then the second time just apply a little bit more pressure and just make sure that it's nice and adhered there aren't any air pockets I usually like to feel it with my hands and make sure that everything is nice and firm before I top coat it when I'm applying transfers on drawers or something like this that has a lid I apply the transfer right on it and then later I score it with my fingernail you could use a blade and you just want to go ahead and rub down those edges once you've scored it and it looks flawless Next, I'm going to take my piece of transfer from Brocante and apply it on the top. And you might think black on black won't show, but it does show and I love the look of black transfers on black pieces. Now again, you can do this on furniture or smalls, the techniques are the same. Have you ever applied a black transfer on a black painted piece? Let me know in the comments. I wanted to change the tone of the red, so I'm taking a DIY paint making powder. It's actually not in production. It's from the DIY warehouse. It's, it's part of the lab collection that some of the retailers got and I've been giving it away as a free gift for any online purchase and so I showed how I'm just taking a little bit, adding water and I'm applying it straight to the transfer. I have not sealed this but I'm going to go ahead and just apply this. You can do this with any of the DIY paint making powders. All of the making powders can be found on my website, lisaboondesigns.com. The links are in the description. I'm taking my DIY paint liquid patina and I'm going to seal in my transfer and just give the entire piece one more coat of the liquid patina. You could use Big Top. And after it dries, this is what it looks like. You get a nice little sheen from the liquid patina. It's the same as if you would have clear waxed it, only faster and you don't have to buff it. <laughs> now it was beautiful as is, but they had so much detail and I wanted to bring the detail out so I decided to white wax it. Because I top coated it, it gives me flexibility, of using the wax when and where I want it and and it doesn't saturate into the DIY paint because the chalk will eat up that wax and that's why we always say that you should clear wax it first before you use a colored wax but you could do the same thing with big top or liquid patina so I apply it liberally and then I take a lint free cloth and I rub it back it gives it a really really cool look if at any point you feel like I've got too much wax on here, the great thing about these waxes are is that because I've top coated it, I now can take the clear wax and I can apply it. I just used my finger, I didn't have another brush and I'm just putting it where I don't want as much white wax and then I'm just going to rub it back. The clear wax acts as an eraser and it just makes the set that centerpiece pop just a little bit more and you can do that all throughout however you want it to look like and it makes it look aged and vintage and super super cool and again you could totally stop right here but i wanted to add a little bit of, of bling in the summer or in hot places it might melt just stir it up it should look like this it's so much fun to use. I hope that you'll try it. I just put it on with my finger in all of the edges and corners and I think it really made it. We did this in under an hour. What if this was a big trunk? What if this was your coffee table? What if this was a dresser, a chest? It's the same thing, right? So this is just a smaller piece of furniture. And 
You could use label ephemera um, for the text. A lot of the transfers have text anyway. You could use stamps. And have a great day. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.